Okay, so this is uh, rudder uh, repair update number two, and I'm just going to give you a real brief one. I always try and keep them under two minutes so they upload quickly on um, YouTube. So what did I do? Uh, on the heel, I basically filled all the ground out more These where these two sort of divots were and the split line. And then I filled it with the uh, West Systems Epoxy uh, 403 filler. So did that, and then once that was good, smoothed it out, and then I went ahead and mixed up an unthickened epoxy, West Systems, and um, put on some fiberglass, some medium weight fiberglass. So I don't know if you can see. The discolorations underneath are, are some of the old paint that didn't come off, that was sanded well and cleaned, but didn't come off. So all the way up over the heel, and then the leading edge, it got uh, a nice uh, wet, wetted out surface, cleaned, obviously sanded and cleaned. That's just a hair from one of my brushes. And then um, basically after sanded and cleaned, I went ahead, wetted it out, and then put that uh, a nice, probably two inch wide piece of uh, fiberglass on it. So the leading edge is pretty square. Um, right here, the same thing. And again, the discoloration is the paint that didn't come off. It was just so thick and I didn't want to sand for two days. Filled all the divots in with thickened epoxy. And as I showed you before, the same with this. And it's nice and hard now. And then after that was uh, smoothed out and sanded and dried and everything, then I went ahead and wet it out, unthickened epoxy and put on fiberglass. So it got fiberglass here, here, and down here, which you can see. So that's, uh, in terms of fiberglass repair, that's that. Now it's, uh, it'll go out to the garage. It's, it's minus 20 out right now, so I'm not going to go out there and sand anything. But basically, uh, when the spring warms up, we'll bring it out to the garage and uh, sand it and then start to put our bottom coat on. Um, as for the shaft, uh, this again, this is a 1975 O'Day 27. I weighed the, the entire assembly prior to starting this little cleanup, and it came out to about uh, 66 pounds. Um, the shaft itself, I measured out, I don't, you probably can't read that, but uh, basically the inside diameter was about uh, 1.280 of an inch, um, and the OD was about 2.025, outside diameter 2.025, which gives you a wall thickness of about 370 thou. So it's fairly thick wall, heavy wall aluminum that goes all the way down through um, the rudder. As for the bushings, I'll just pop the yoke off right now. This is the yoke that holds the... Uh, Hopefully I don't flip the rudder over here. Maybe I'll leave it anyway. This is the yoke that holds the tiller, and these are the bushings. So that would be the top bushing that goes in the rubber po rudder post. This would be the bottom bushing that goes at the very bottom of the rubber uh, rudder post. And then this um, same material, this, uh, I would call it a washer, or uh, maybe a thrust uh, bushing, a thrust bearing. It uh, goes on the bottom here, and then that's on the outside of the boat. So between the, the rudder and the actual fixed hull component. And all of these are, in my opinion, a little too loose. And that's probably what prompted me to look at starting this job was the vibration in the rudder under underway. And um, same with the, you can see, I could measure that with a dial indicator, but why bother? I'll probably get some visconite, uh, visconite which is a um, non-hygroscopic um, or it won't absorb water um, bushing material for submerged applications and uh, get that machine down so I'll get maybe might even oversize this one make it a little longer than than this one and the same on the top I might make it a little bit longer so that's your your top uh, top hat bushing and then this one I'll probably just go with the same so just a new one of that um, get those done in the spring and then slide them on and remount the uh, the rudder this was four minutes and I do apologize for rambling on anyway take care